Good Monday morning, FGG. Hey, it's been a while since I've communicated this way. Uh, we have to be careful how we communicate based on Amazon's rules, but uh, I won't keep you long. I just want to say a couple things. Uh, most importantly, that every, for everybody, but you know, work safely. We're getting a little snow on the ground, a little sleep. And uh, this is Kentucky, so people don't drive the same way from like where I'm coming from. So you gotta be very careful when you're out there. You gotta pay attention to the road. People's kids are home and, and then let them run out in the streets for some reason here. Um, so watch yourself and be very, very careful. At the end of the day, getting you home is more important than anything else. Uh, so be careful to do, be safe and do what you're supposed to do. If you have problems, please call dispatch or myself so that we can help you through it. Don't take any unnecessary risks. Call us first, but don't take it upon yourself to not call us. Call us before you make any decision like not delivering or, or not going somewhere. Uh, so please watch that. Um, as a whole, we've been doing very well. A um, couple things we got to work on that get better at is our driving skills, right? We got a few people still speeding. That has to be addressed. And unfortunately, Amazon is now addressing it. We have now had two people offboarded by Amazon um, because of uh, speeding incidents and seatbelt incidents. And we've had five people who have been made inactive that we had to go through some changes to get them reactivated because of speeding and seatbelt violations. People, Amazon is very, very serious. It has been taken completely out of our control um, because it didn't improve well enough. So now they're handling these situations. And if Amazon removes you, you can't work for Amazon ever again. You can't work for us, of course, but you can't work for Amazon if you get removed for what they call a tier one infraction. So please make sure that you know what you're supposed to do because, you know, speeding, I mean, you really don't get anywhere that much faster when you do that. By the time you hit lights and everything else, the people who were behind you end up catching up with you. So don't feel it necessary to speed, especially in residential areas. And if you're over in Indiana where they don't have a posted speed limit, just remember, if it's not posted, the majority of the time it's 35 miles an hour. If you don't see a posted speed limit. And if you're in a uh, residential area, then it's usually like 20, 25 miles an hour. So, you know, don't, don't, because you don't see a stop, stop uh, speeding sign, think, okay, I can open this baby up. And for all those who thought, like we used to think, that yeah, by turning off your uh, mentor, that you won't get caught for speeding, those trucks now um, measure the speed. And that's even when you're in a non-branded, because the Amazon app is now tracking that. So don't don't feel like, okay, I'm gonna turn off my uh, mentor and then I'm gonna open this baby up. Don't do it, because they get caught that way. Two of the people who got inactive was when they were off of a uh, mentor. So don't don't take the risk, everyone. Um, also, for those who've been asking about the uh, Amazon's DA recognition, driver recognition bonus, um, they sent us all the information on Friday. I put it into payroll, so when we process payroll, it will be in this Friday's check. Um, it is taxed. So for those who have full-time, it's $300. That will be taxed. And, for part-time people, it's 150 that will be taxed, just so you know. Outside of that, I just want everybody to be safe. I want everybody to take care of yourself. I'm looking forward to the day that we can get past this COVID stuff and uh, start going out and doing some things together, trying to enjoy ourselves um, in, in different ways. But thanks for everything everybody's been doing. Thank you for your hard work. I really do appreciate you. And getting back to who we are, got to ask you to watch over this team and please protect them. A lot of people have been facing some unique challenges. Lord. We've had a person who lost their child. My heart really goes out to her, to her family. Uh, that's uh, it's beyond difficult, Lord. We have people who've been dealing with the loss of others, uh, whether it be through COVID or other issues. We have people who've been challenged financially, challenged mentally. I mean, these things happen, Lord. I mean, this life is life. I understand that. But I'm asking you to help and give comfort and peace to this work family. I'm asking you to give them strength through difficult days, give them peace that pass all understanding and give them joy that can't be uttered. I'm asking you to do something incredible and something wonderful in their life that only you can do. 
uh, because Lord, the things that we face, friends can't necessarily help us through, nor can family. Sometimes it's only you. Not everybody knows you like I know you or like others know you, but I pray they would get to know you because there's nothing like you in a difficult time. And truthfully, it's nothing like you to help us have some wonderful times. So I pray you would bless each and every person and their families, that you do something incredible, something wonderful. You'll make every dollar stretch, make their health better than it ever has been before, make their family as full of joy as it possibly can be. And as you do it, I will forever bless you and praise you. I thank you for them all. In Jesus' name, amen.